All right, a quick little tutorial on what I feel is uh, my favorite feature in Giants Editor. Uh, I'm currently running 8.2. I know this works on the previous, um, you know, version 8s as well. Um, the middle mouse button um, is by far my favorite feature in Giants Editor, hands down. Um, using the middle mouse button. Um, we can, let's say we want to move this transform over here and we'll copy the cube in here. With that cube copied in there, it takes on the values of the transform because it's a child parent relationship. But if I want to keep this cube in the exact same location and move it to a different part of the I3D structure, you can easily hold down the middle mouse button drag it to where you want it and release it and now this cube has retained the values that was given by the parent um, which comes in really handy if you want to let's say for example you're setting up your wheels and you have them imported from Blender or Maya or whatever you're using and you want to dynamically load them and you know you need a transform group in order to you know, point your i3 or your XML um, to say hey this is where I want the translate or the node to be in a line upright. So you can easily take your transform, copy it inside your shape. Now that we can drag this out, and your transform is in the exact same location. Um, another piece that I, I use it a lot for, so let's say I have um, this transform here and I want it to have a little bit of rot. I can click on it properly. We'll just kind of give it that way. Take my cube that has you know nothing associated with it. Let me delete this one. Paste it in here and drag it out. Now we have the exact same reflection, and it does it with scale as well. Um, during this testing, doing scale. Um, with the cube it kind of jacks up the cube so I don't want to show that but in other pieces it will work fine so if you have um, scaling issues in your mod and it's affecting like your player and the like the hands look like something out of a nightmare on your steering wheel um, you can drag your parts out individually uh, freeze the scale on them and then replace them back in using the middle mouse button lining everything back up without ever having to uh, cut and paste or and you know changing the values just by dragging and dropping using the middle mouse button um, for most people I think almost every mouse has it you know where your scroll wheel is but you can press down on it um, so yeah hopefully that helps uh, it helped me a lot with doing uh, UDIM because I would have to export it out zero it out on the grid UDIM it bring it back in put everything in the exact same location now no matter where it's at all I have to do is slide my UDIM part underneath the original part freeze the translate, freeze the rot, whichever I need, and drag it out and move on and delete the original. So there it is. Hope this helps.